Hey guys, this is Jostein from yourdino.com. I have a quick video today with some new features. And the first one we will look at is this table that we got here. Uh, this is now showing the, uh, the value of each of the visible channels like that in a table. Uh, this can be pretty useful uh, when you have uh, lots of channels visible and something that uh, many of you have asked for. Uh, you can move your mouse like that, but you can also use your keys. Uh, here I'm pressing the arrow keys and it moves every 100 RPM. And uh, similarly here on the uh, results versus time, it moves every 0 0.1 second. Okay, uh, that's maybe the first thing to look at. Let's uh, turn on one more, uh, one more run here. Now we have two runs and you now have a green and a red, uh, depending on which one is higher. You can also select one of these runs. Uh, for example, let's say we select uh, the green one. That will now be highlighted here. Uh, all the, the channels of that run will be highlighted. You can also see the maximum uh, here. And you will see the difference, right? So it's now 0 point something uh, horsepower and torque more than the other run. So that's pretty nice. Uh, if you select, if you click here, uh, then the other run becomes the active one. And now the difference is negative. You also see the, the difference, uh, the, the maximum will pop up like that. Just click uh, here and uh, or somewhere and it will be uh, gone. You can click on a curve and it pops up again. Okay. Um, yeah, I forgot to say, you can also move this around uh, if you want it down here, for example. Just uh, move it uh, wherever you like it. Okay, so that was two runs. Let's turn on the third one. So now the difference uh, column is gone, but uh, it now shows uh, with the color coding. The green one is the higher one, and then the, the pinkish one is in the middle, and the, the red one is, is the lower the lower one. Again, as you have more and more uh, runs visible, it can be pretty useful to, to click on the run to see which one is which. You can also turn off selection here of the channels, so you have no channels visible, but you can select all channels from, from a specific run, right? So it, it highlights all the, uh, all the channels of that particular run like this. Okay. So I've loaded another run here. So this is a V8 uh, engine. It's a pro stock engine with a billet uh, block. So expensive engine. Um, this one has uh, eight uh, Lambda sensors, uh, as you can see here, but it's a bit tricky to see what is what here. And uh, if you look here, you will now see reds and greens and different uh, shades of red and green, even though this is just one single run here. So you may wonder how is that possible? What does it actually do? And uh, I'll show you. Uh, if you go to options and then uh, visual styles, that's here. So previously you had a line style, right? Where you could select the different uh, styles. Uh, but you can now also say, what kind of comparison do you want? So the one we looked at previously where you saw horsepower was red or green. Uh, you can select uh, here, right, that uh, higher is better, obviously, for, for horsepower. You can also have lower is better for, let's say, a temperature or something. And then uh, this uh, third option is within range. And uh, to do that, uh, that's what we have done on, the, on those uh, lambdas within range. And uh, uh, let me just show you how that is done here. So you say here the lower lower threshold is 12, for example, and higher threshold is 13. So everything between 12 and 13 be, will be different shades of green and 12 and a half will be the greenest. And then as you move outside of the uh, lower or higher uh, threshold, it becomes redder and redder the farther, the further away you go from, from the, the, the thresholds. So that's how, how that is set up. Okay, guys, that was all for today. I hope you like it.